Welcome to the All in One channel. I'm Kelly Rosano, and this is the Aquarius Full Moon creating heaven on earth. How do we create heaven on earth? We focus on the positive. We focus on the good. We focus on the good in ourselves. We focus on the good in others. When we focus on the positive, it transmutes the negative energies. I love this Aquarius full moon. It is an awesome, totally awesome full moon. The sun is in Leo and the sun is opposing the moon. That's what a full moon is. And the moon is in Aquarius. Leo rules the heart. Leo rules the inner child. Leo rules the soul. Leo rules true love, romance, risk-taking, creative self-expression, the ability to recreate yourself, the ability to procreate yourself. Aquarius rules genius. Aquarius rules innovation. Aquarius rules thinking out of the box. Ah, throw the box away. Aquarius rules taking ourselves to the edge taking ourselves where we haven't gone before. Aquarius rules brilliant breakthroughs, breaking through onto the other side, breaking past all limitation. Aquarius is about the collective. It's about the group. It's about the community. Aquarius is about other people. It's about the individual, Leo, on his quest or her quest, the soul's journey, the hero's journey, Leo and taking that journey out into the world and merging with others, Aquarius. I love this Aquarius full moon because it's in harmonious energy flow with Jupiter, expansion, abundance, prosperity, and it's harmonizing with the Aquarius moon because they're sisters. Uh, Jupiter is in Gemini and that's a sister sign to Aquarius and it harmonizes with Leo. Gemini is an air sign. The air feeds the fire and the fire feeds the air. So it's really harmonious and empowering. This is an energy we can work with. You're going to start feeling this energy last week in July and all through August. Now, with Jupiter in harmonious energy flow to the Aquarius full moon on August 1st and 2nd, we can be experiencing aha moments. We can be having epiphanies. You're going to have breakthroughs. You're going to come to these moments and you're going to have realizations of things that have been troubling you or bothering you or you couldn't figure out. All of a sudden you're going to be like, oh, okay, so that's what I need to do. Oh, so that's what's been going on. Oh, so that's what's been happening here. So you're going to be finding solutions to old problems. And we want to use this energy to create something new. We're going to feel better. This positive energy is going to be flowing through us. So we're going to be feeling better. We're going to be feeling stronger. When we feel better and we feel stronger, we're more open to people. We're more open to new ideas. We're more open to new contacts. So if you've been wanting a relationship, you're going to be feeling more open to it. The walls come down. Well, maybe I will go out with this person. Well, maybe I will have, you know, a conversation with this person. Maybe I will check this person out. <laughs> and so we feel like it. We feel more open. We feel more empowered. Thus, the new opportunities come. Thus, the new relationships come. Thus, the new income comes. This can create new sources of income because you're open. You're thinking out of the box. Heck, you threw the box away. So... It creates new sources of income. It creates new abundance. Jupiter is abundance, expansion of abundance, expansion of opportunities, expansion of good feelings. So Jupiter is expanding you. Jupiter is giving you new energy to create new things in your life. What does your heart desire? What are you dreaming? What would you dare to do if you knew you could not fail? Superhero Mars is in harmonious aspect to the Aquarius full moon. Mars is in Libra, sister sign to Aquarius, harmonious energy flow. 
in harmonious energy flow to Leo. The air feeds the fire. Leo is fire and fire feeds the air. So Mars is empowering you not to start violence or be negative or destructive, but Mars is saying in Libra, let's cooperate, let's collaborate, let's create win-win relationships, let's create win-win business opportunities, let's create win-win outcomes. That's what soul mating is. When we soul mate with others, we give and we receive. We want others to receive from us. Karmic relationship is where you do the giving and you don't receive back. That's the old energy. In the new energy, in fifth dimension, we create relationships that are empowering and inspiring and everyone receives and gives equally, mutually, beneficial relationships. Innovative Uranus is in harmonious energy flow to the Aquarius full moon. And Uranus is Aquarius's ruling planet. This is going to inspire you. It's going to uplift you. It's going to innovate you. It's going to empower you to create the new. This energy is so wonderful and just on time. So with Uranus inspiring you and waking up your intuition, your intuition is going to be really strong now. Pay attention to synchronicities. Pay attention to those subtle clues. Pay attention to those whisperings. Pay attention to your gut instinct. Pay attention to what you're getting, to what you're receiving, what you're dreaming, okay? Pay attention because your guides are on standby. Your guides are waiting for you to give them the orders. Go get me that new relationship. Go get me that new income. Go get me that new job. Whatever your heart is desiring, Leo, Uranus in Aquarius, Aquarius is ruling planet, Uranus in Aries, is wanting to give it to you, is wanting to provide it to you for all 12 tribes. Not just Leos and Aquarians or Aries and Geminis, but for all 12 tribes, all 12 signs. This full moon is for everyone. So pay attention to life-changing messages and synchronicities. They will confirm that you are indeed on track. Speaking of cosmic messages, Mercury the messenger is the star of the Aquarius full moon and in harmonious energy flow to Jupiter, Mars, and Uranus. Mercury is saying, people, come from your heart. Live from your heart, Leo. Choose from your heart, Leo. And trust your intuition, Aquarius. Let your intuition guide you, Aquarius. That's what the star of this Aquarius full moon is asking for all of us. It's to pay attention to our intuition, to our gut instincts. The body is the messenger. Pay attention to what your body is telling you and trust it and follow your heart, live from your heart. That's where we're going. That's what the age of Aquarius is. That's what living in fifth dimension is. That's what the 12, 12, 12 is, is living from our heart, heart-centered living. So August starts off with a fabulous Aquarius full moon for everybody, outpouring positive energy in every direction, pouring positive energy into you. So it's up to you what you want to do with it. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. Focus on the good in your life. Focus on the good in others. Focus on the positive in your life. Focus on the positive in the world. Focus on the positive things people are doing. There's so many wonderful, incredible things that people are doing. People are building communities everywhere on the planet. Aquarius. That's what the age of Aquarius is about, is communities that feed their people, that empower their people, that educate their people, that build beautiful environments that are prosperous and abundant. That's where we're going. Hold on to that image. No matter what the negatives are doing, no matter what the negatives are going on in the world, while you focus on the positive, that creates heaven on earth. Because when we focus on the positive, it dissipates, it transmutes all lower negative energies. So we have a great start to August. We have a fabulous full moon. It will be empowering you. It will be inspiring you. We don't need to know where everything is going. We don't need to know why things happen. All we need to do is live in the moment and take advantage of every opportunity and challenge that comes your way. 
because when you do that you are creating the new here and now and you are the master of your destiny you are the empowered individual and you are co-creating with the energies to create good in the world to create positive in the world and that's why we're here to live the abundant life and to empower each other so I just want to say thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for liking and sharing my videos thank you for subscribing you totally rock thank you to all my clients you're so awesome if you would like to work with me the link is below and until next time keep looking up <laughs>